Writing this book has really gotten me fired up over treasure hunting. I have enjoyed this on so many different levels because one of the things I find with these treasure guys is that it's not just the find, they identify with these pieces. They know intimately the stories behind it, how they found it, what it represents. And this to me is something that has just absolutely illuminated my look at history. 3,700 years old. That's from the Shang Dynasty. Bob Marks was the first treasure dog who was willing to give me the time of day. And he's remained my favorite of all of the guys that I've met. He's a brawler, he's a survivor of reform school, prison, nine shipwrecks, two shark attacks, gout. And also these round ones down here, those, those are called buys, also called pies. These are between five and 8,000 BC. It's very heavy for money. It'd be a little difficult to carry a few <laughs> well, of these in your, in your wallet. You're paying your taxes with that to the emperor <laughs> or to some Mandarin, so. And he's one of the finest men I've ever met. He's taught me an immense amount. And when I was looking for the building of the character, the main character in Gold of Kings, I made Harry Bennett into Bob Marks of 31 years old, so 40 years ago. What do I say? I say, treasure is trouble. The more the treasure, the more the trouble. I know the first piece of gold, right off the bat, we're gonna have trouble. So many stories, so little time. I just, I hope I can get them all down. I usually start my days about five in the morning. I'll write until I hit that wall, and I have to be very careful there because I also want to be able to hit the ground running the next day. And so when I meet that wall, usually I'll stop, I'll do administrivia, I'll do interviews, I'll go surfing, but I have to get myself away from the writing. And then I come back in sometimes in the afternoon and do another hour or so of sketching, but uh, the critical thing is I want to be able to do it today and then do it better tomorrow. That's vital to me. I was raised on North Carolina's Outer Banks, which is where Blackbeard had his haven on Ocracoke Island. It's been one of the centers for treasure salvaging for 200 years. But it was only when I came to live on the Treasure Coast that the whole concept of Gold of Kings really came into focus. It's been a great place and a great inspiration.